ladies and gentlemen welcome to the weekly review brand new episode here which is actually a little bit different than the previous ones for two little announcements that i have first one this is not going to be featured so it's not going to pop up on your phones or your uh, youtube uh, announcements um th these videos are just not doing as well as the rest of the videos so i'm just going to keep them on low rather away from the algorithm so if you're watching this thank you very much and uh if you want to continue watching these i probably will continue to do them it will just you have to come to the channel and find them yourselves uh so do let me know if you're interested into that and then the other small announcement which is kind of old one all the runs that i'm doing are now uploaded on a secondary channel with the idea i want to keep this channel clean for uh, guides and helpful materials i'll probably upload more uh, guides specifically uh, uh not guides sorry i'll probably up upload more runs on this channel at some point but uh there's actually a huge volume of runs uploaded on the secondary channel even for olds that i usually don't upload on the main channel so if you are interested check the description of this video you can subscribe to the secondary channel as well so having said that uh let's see what's in store for us uh, this coming week incorporeal is gone thank god at least for now and now uh, we have a tyrannical entangling and bursting week so tyrannical obviously expect harder boss fights some of the unions will be significantly more difficult just because the bosses are going to be hitting much harder and take much longer to kill so be prepared for that entangling pick whatever talent you have in your disposal to deal with this affix uh thunderous pulse for shaman freedom for paladin tiger's lust for uh monk uh, I think the priest has a fate that breaks the rules, etc. Right? Have this talent uh, in hand just because it's much easier if you have it and you're in a tough situation. Uh, there are actually some uh, occasions where you cannot move. Let's say you're soaking on the last boss in Rice. You need the talent if you're in the circle and you cannot move. Otherwise, you're going to kill everybody. Right? So uh, do pick, pick up the talent uh, for uh, handling the entangling. And then bursting, obviously, this is not pleasant for healers. Although, as I like to say, it's not the worst. Uh, you can always dispel yourself if things go south. And then res the noob DPS who staggered the stacks. You can also use a defensive uh, to mitigate the damage since uh, it's uh, not a fortified weak. You can al allow yourself to use defensive for the bursting. And uh, be very careful in dungeons like Everbloom because the petals there uh, burst, um, the uh, dogs in Waycrest Manor, etc. Right? So just be prepared there. Uh, you can try to salvage the situation by popping a big cooldown and try to heal every everybody up. But as I said, the best way is just to dispel yourself. And then if the rest of the group pops defensives, they live. If not, you rest them. And uh, if you're a monk, uh, definitely use your diffuse magic because that works on bursting. And uh, it is going to save you the uh, this spell in case you don't have it, uh, etc. So this is actually, I would say, a pretty good week to push uh, for Tyrannical Keys, of course. Uh, because the Bursting is not an affix that actually buffs the dungeon. It just makes you heal more and it could kill your teammates if they're not careful. But other than that, uh, it's definitely wel more welcome than some of the other affixes that we can have on this spot. Alright, so this is uh, for the week ahead. I'll definitely try to play some Tyrannical Keys. Although, I'm more focused on uh, ads. Uh, not ads, sorry, ults right now. Uh, but let's see what the Vault has in store for us. Uh, the good old Shaman still needs the ring for uh, from Waycrest Manor for healing. So I can complete the set with the a music box. And then for enhancement, uh, maybe I also need a trinket there as well. So let me uh, make sure I actually open as enhancement. Because uh, the trinket there could be quite powerful. The porcelain crap is what I need, I think. And uh, I can get the ring for enhancement as well. Um, Alright, so we got a crit mastery ring. Which is kind of bad for both enhancement and healing. Because we don't like mastery, although it does have speed. And then we have bracers. Alright, that's interesting. Haste mastery bracers with a socket. Now, this is where my embellishment is. And I'm using that embellishment for both my um, um, healing and my DPS keys. But since I only have one of these bracers, I can probably pick this up, have the socket on it, use it for enhancement since the stats are pretty good for enhancement, and then uh, recraft the bracers to have different stats and use them for healing with crit and burst. Uh, let me check these very quickly. I actually did a little bit of healing. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. Uh, I did a little bit of healing 
in um, the raid, so I can do some content for that. Stay tuned if you're interested. Crit Verse with Avoidance. Dealing fire damage grants a shield that absorbs damage. Dealing nature damage grants you a shield. Alright, so this is actually a tough choice uh, because uh, obviously I'm using, as a healer, I'm using the uh, neck that um, it, it's crafted, right? Uh, so it has crit and burst. I'm not using the lariat. I have the lariat in my enhancement set. So I might actually pick this up because the stats are not bad. Uh, it's pretty good when you need to like absorb something like a shield and you're using fire and uh, nature spells all the time. So this could be very well, very nice for uh, pushing high keys. Um, although this one has a socket. So that's actually a tough choice uh, that I should not complain about. This one is also hero level and this one is mythic. So this can go to 489 while this is only going to go to, uh, what is it, 483. Uh, so I'll give it some thought. I'll probably sim uh, how badly the bracers will affect me if they have a socket but they don't have the embellishment maybe for a different embellishment and then i'll make the decision if this is a dps uh, loss which is significant and it tells me to keep the crafted bracers i'll then pick the neck and then maybe use that for healing uh, because the avoidance is huge the versatility is huge uh, for surviving on higher keys and then you get an extra bonus of uh, having a small shield all right, so not the worst vault on the Shaman, considering how far ahead it is uh, compared to my other tunes that I'm playing. But let's look in them very quickly as well, uh, if you're interested to stay and see what I get. I actually played a lot of Rest to Druid and Preservation Evoker. Again, you can see some of those runs on the secondary channel if you're interested. But uh, I'm close to getting all the portals on all the characters. Uh, the Druid and the Evoker both are missing, like, I think a couple of portals. Uh, so this was my main focus last week, uh, which means that I probably pushed uh, only one key on the monk. Let's make sure we are in Mist River spec. Uh, we got pretty good trinkets here. We could use a better ring, I guess. That's the only thing. And a belt. But this one has a socket. Um, as I said, didn't play much. So I can upgrade this and send it very high um, in item levels. So probably keeping that. I guess we can use the better stuff from, from Galcon's Fall, but let's not get greedy. Only one key here for 81 item level gear, so we, we cannot expect too much. Oh god, we got it. We got it, boys. Let's go. The Irido is now on the mythic level, which is better than what my Shaman has. And this is definitely better than the stuff that um, I'm already using. It does a little bit of AoE damage, but yeah. Uh, this is this is what we wanted to see. Haste Verse are also better than uh, Haste Mastery. So let's go. Alright, even if I get crap on all the other uh, vault items, then, uh, you know, I'm happy. Because this goes up to 489 as well. Uh, let me equip it. I'll enchant it later. Um, boom, boom, boom. Is it? Yeah, it's this one. There we go. It even fits my transmog a little bit better, I think. Alright, so we are very happy on this. We are very happy on this. Uh, we finally get this. Always one week where you get all the stuff. Uh, and then the rest of the weeks you don't want to be playing. So I guess this is my lucky week. Let's see what's in store. Because we have four more characters to go through. And we're just starting up. So the Shaman didn't get absolute garbage. The Monk got the stuff. Which is great. Huge upgrade. Not only for damage. But also the item level weapon etc so let's see uh what my evoker is up to my evoker is only at 477 i really want a different thing a trinket uh this one i guess it's very good for raid but for m plus it's like yeah uh like it pops i don't want to heal it because um i don't need the healing from it but then i'm still pumping healing inside because i want to give the mastery um but yeah i mean it's just bad it's uh omega level bad uh, other than that, we still need boots. Uh, I think our gloves are also champion levels. So we have a lot of things that we can uh, pick up on the Evoker, which are going to be huge upgrades. And we get uh, the mirror, which I might have, to be honest. We get shoulders, which is small item level upgrade. And then we got an offhand, which we don't have a main weapon to use with. So we're saying no to this. Let me check if I have the mirror. 
Uh, actually, we just got this. We got the uh, seven spine, which I might as well replace the the, the seedling with. Uh, we don't have the mirror, so we can probably pick up the mirror uh, and get stats because it's mythic level, right? Uh, and the this thing is not. This is hero. Yeah, I mean this. I think this is the play because uh, upgrading the shoulders. It's also not bad. But this brings more value than just uh, the stats from, from the shoulders. So uh, I think especially not playing with the seed link is going to be great. So I'm thinking I'm just going to pick this up. The only concern that I have is I might not use that and just... Yeah, I'm not using I'm not using the spine, right? I don't need mana on the evoker. So uh, yeah, let's go with this. Let's go with this. It's item level upgrade. It's trinket upgrade in general. So uh, let's go boom and we're up to 477 and we can probably upgrade this a little bit all right so uh let's go to the druid next before we jump to the paladin and the priest uh the druid actually did quite well last week um i'm not sure what the item level is but i managed to to get some some gear i managed to push some keys um so Kind of looking forward to, to finishing this tune. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play, although in Pucks it's a little bit shaky. So we are at 478 here. Uh, we got this. Just, uh, just we still don't have the ring, but just as we were finishing dungeons, I think we got this on the last. Uh, uh, wait, Christ, we're using the mirror here. We can use a better weapon. Uh, what is bad here? Uh, most of the gear is here. Level. Okay, so I guess we need a new head and probably a better neck. All right, so head and shoulders, head and shoulders. It's not a shampoo, it's what we need from the vault. All right, so uh, we are in restoration. And we get, oh, we got a tear stone. I'm not a fan of the tear stone though. I'm definitely not a fan of the tear stone. Um, there's the hands, which is small upgrade. And then we got wrists, which is not an upgrade because ours have a socket. So, this were indestructible, we don't care about this. So, do I have to pick the tear stone here? Is the question. Because the mirror is giving us secondary stats. The tear stone is going to give us haste and extra healing. Again, I'm, I'm not a fan of the tear stone in Mythic Plus. Um, it is on demand healing, but everybody, every now and then, somebody's gonna draw below 30% and it's gonna heal them, not necessarily when you need it. And the haste is not that big. Ah, tough choices. So I'm probably going to keep the music box. Although, as I said, it's brand new. So I haven't tested yet how good it is on a druid. Uh, and this is also on the mid level. So uh, this is actually a tough choice. Maybe I just pick up the shoulders and... Uh, uh, that's not shoulders, sorry. I pick up the hands and be happy about it. Because I can upgrade them. Um, so we're not picking the, the bracers, yeah, so it's between crests or tokens, whatever I call them, the tear stone. Or maybe I pick up the tear stone and I just rock the trinkets with on use. Because the music box is fine, but it, it's not huge, right? So tear stone is probably better than the music box. Yeah, I think I have to do this. I think I have to do this. Um... As much as I don't want to have two on your trinkets. But it is what it is, boys. Sometimes you have a, you have to make uh, tough choices. Alright. So, I'll have to figure out bindings here later on. Uh, for two on your trinkets. I actually have a slot here. So, we'll figure this one later. Uh, but yeah, that, that brings us to 479. So, the Druid is not doing bad as well, item level-wise. And now we jump to the Pali and the Priest. Actually, I think I played one key on both of them. Uh, I don't think I pushed any keys. I don't think I have four keys on any of them. But I'm going to open the vault regardless. Uh, so you can see and this video is complete. Although it's now a little bit longer than usual. Uh, but as I said, this is just now just for fun. Uh, I'm not pushing it and uh, advertising it for people to watch it. So if you stick so far, thank you for that. Um, what did I log? I think I logged in the poly. So the poly is... Not in a bad shape. Um, it has the porcelain crap because we are in 
Retribution spec. Um, I'm gonna open as Holy, and I think as a Holy, I have the ring and the music box, so this is the tune that I should be playing. Uh, and I'm actually at 479, so my Druid caught up, uh, my Voker caught up. Uh, let's see what we need. I think we need better rings, definitely a better ring is going to be huge. And we got a Tear Stone, which I think I have. Let me check. Um... Oh, it's champion level. Wait, is this what I'm using? I think this is what I'm using. Alright, so that's actually going to be a nice upgrade. Yeah, that's going to be a nice upgrade from uh, 470 to 483. So, it is what it is, boys. I mean, better than nothing, right? I don't want two tokens because they're not equal to, um, to a socket. So, we're equipping this. We're 480 now on the Pali. Let's go. And then the last character for today is going to be the Priest. Which run a single... It wasn't... I don't think it was even a 20. I think it just run like a quick 18 or something. Uh, just to get something in the vote. But it is what it is. Uh, I guess I'll try to play more tunes this week. As soon as I complete the portals on the Druid and the Evoker. Which both have like uh, two or three dungeons left. Um, all right, and then here we need, I mean, we need a better trinket, we need better boots, this is champion level, and we need a better neck. Those are the biggest thing. 4, 7, 6, somehow the priest, which was one of the most geared ults that I had, is now in last place. I guess I didn't play it enough. Um, so let's go crit mastery and versus crit verse, but it is the only upgrade that we're getting, right? So uh, better than nothing again. Alright, so uh, I can say I'm actually happy with the votes that I got. Uh, they were not as bad as what we usually get. So uh, that's a good thing. Let me know what you get in your votes. And uh, what you're playing this coming week. Or you're skipping because it's tyrannical. Anyways, I see you in the next video. Until then, happy king. Bye bye. And take care.